this machine is the fact that you don't have to worry about pre-freezing your bowl in order to get this one going. All you have to do is make your base and pour it into the machine. So this unit comes in a bunch of beautiful candy colored ice cream shop colors of your dreams. So this is the light blue. The blue or light blue, Jonathan? It is called blue. Okay, so we have that in blue. We have it in mint. That's our most limited color. Only two dozen in that mint. The beautiful color. We have pink. That was the most popular one earlier today in Mary's show, and I think I know why, because there's a certain movie out and everything is in pink these days. We've got it in purple. And finally, we have it in that classic crisp white color for you. So let me tell you about what you're going to get with this machine. So you get the full unit, and again, it has a compressor in it. And what that does is it cools the air around your ice cream base so that it freezes it on the spot. You're gonna get your bucket. This is gonna slide right into the machine. And then you actually are gonna get two different dashers. That's the paddle that turns the ice cream. They come in two colors. One's white and one is gonna be a light blue. The reason we do that is because the white one fits inside the bucket that I just put in there. But what you can do when you're done making ice cream here, you can actually put your base directly into the machine. And because that's a little bit wider, because of the width of the bucket, you're gonna to wanna to use your light blue dasher for that because that's what's gonna get you the full distance of the interior of the machine. So you can actually make two quarts of ice cream with this machine, you just make one at a time. Now your lid is gonna be completely clear so you're able to see through it. And we're just gonna put our handle, it snaps right in. So that clear plastic piece that you can toss in the dishwasher, no problem. The handle, you do just want to wipe down, again, with warm soapy water, uh, or damp cloth, rather. Your paddles, your dashers, also dishwasher safe. They're going to slide right on, just like that. And so into our bucket, I'm going to pour my ice cream base. So I'm actually testing some new flavors here while uh, we are live here on QVC2. So this is actually going to be basil ice cream. My family laughs at me because I love crazy flavors of ice cream, but I thought this sounded like a lot of fun. So we're just going to slide our whole lid in. You're going to have an arrow right on top here. You're going to line it up with your unlock button and then snap it into place. Power, which is going to be right on the center of the console. Just above that little ice cream icon, that's going to light up. That's going to how you know you have power. And you're going to hit your start stop button. The light above the ice cream will turn green and you'll hear the machine begin to churn. Now, if you wanted to use some of the other settings, you just want to hit that menu button that's going to be down uh, on the lower level on your right. That's going to let you scroll through the different settings. So the little fan is actually the uh, no, no turn. And then the snowflake is going to be the keep cool. So what you can do with this machine is actually set it up right before you even start cooking dinner. Let it go. And then you can always switch it over to the keep cool setting while you're eating so that your ice cream actually just stays cold and frozen in the machine while you're getting other things ready. You can make ice cream, you can make ice cream in 20 minutes actually, Jonathan. You can do this really quickly depending on what your base is. So you do wanna follow your recipes. This machine does come with a recipe booklet. So if you've never made ice cream before, don't worry about it. You get all the basics covered in the recipe booklet that comes with the machine, vanilla, chocolate. It even shows you how to add mix-ins like buttered pecans or chocolate chip, whatever it is that you would like. And my favorite part about making ice cream at home is you know exactly what's going into your food. So for me, I actually keep dairy free. So all of my ice creams, I use oat milk and coconut milk in order to make. And I can still tell you the flavors come out absolutely incredible. Um, I actually had somebody email me a question about adding eggs to their ice cream. When you see an ice cream recipe that has eggs in it, it's just to add texture and a richness of flavor to the ice cream. But again, when you're making it at home, you get to pick. So if you have an egg allergy or you're avoiding them for whatever reason, you don't have to add them in. There's plenty of recipes that are really simple, milk, sugar, whatever flavor you're using. And again, 
you don't have to pre-freeze your bowl with this. You can just make your base, pour it right in, and turn it on. So again, the unit I have in front of me here is our blue color. This one's actually been the most popular in this show. We've got it in that pink. Mint is the most limited. There's fewer than two dozen left in that color. It is a beautiful color. We've got it in purple. And then we have that classic crisp white color for you as well. I love all the colors of this. They just have that beautiful pop to them that really gives you that sort of 1950s ice cream shop sort of feel that uh, you just, they're really, really pretty and they're fun. And what is more fun in the summertime than delicious homemade ice cream? Actually, Izzy, if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you to go in the freezer and grab the, the blackberry one that we made a little bit earlier today. Um, but you can just make delicious homemade treats with this machine and you can do things like sorbets, you can do frozen yogurt. You're gonna be able to make whatever it is that you like. I'll tell you what something else that you could throw in here. If you're really watching it, do what uh, Italians call granita, which is really just like a frozen drink or liquid. So I love to puree watermelon and you can add a little lime juice and toss that in here. You can actually take espresso and put that in here and freeze it and it'll make a sort of icy texture similar to uh, a sorbet or an Italian ice. But uh, again, just really, really delicious options here. So this is the blackberry ice cream that we made a little earlier today in Mary's show. And again, completely dairy-free ice cream because we're making it at home. You can pick and choose whatever it is that you want. Let me get to the colors one more time before we wrap things up today. So this is our blue. We've got it in that mint, only 20 left in that mint color. We've got it in pink. There's the purple. And finally, we have it in white. So again, everything that we talked about today on a clearance price, and if I have to recommend anything, jump on this machine. It is fabulous. My family, we use it all the time. I hope you've enjoyed these 30 minutes of Cooks Essentials. I'm Cara DeFalco. After the break, Susie Hassan is here with 30 minutes of prepology for you. So more delicious kitchen stuff coming up.